the Shinin Chanya Polinari Ruyan and Eating the Eating the Room, and the Kijagan Shahabitimida. So, my name is Danny, I'm from the Korean Research Center. Um, this is Nina Spensley, I'm from the New American Language Project. Good morning, my name is Salasa Hoy, I'm the Director of Student Engagement Community Education at Chirp. Good morning, everyone, uh, my name is Anna. Hi everybody, I'm Jonathan from the California Dream Hour. Well, um, thank you everybody for, for coming. Um, I'm going to do this in English and in Spanish since we have um, sounds very important. Um, so we're, we're here today because we have some very exciting news. We are to get Sherla together with the Korean Research Center and NALP. We are going to be uh, sponsoring a candidate training, the first of its kind here in Los Angeles. Uh, late April, April 28th and 29th. Estamos aquí porque queremos anunciar de que estamos organizando un entrenamiento para personas que quieran ser candidatos aquí en Los Ángeles. Un, un, un entrenamiento muy único uh, y el primero desde uh, aquí en Los Ángeles para poder preparar a personas que quieran ser candidatos aquí en Los Ángeles. And this training is going to be to prepare those individuals who, who think that they, they uh, and want to uh, pursue um, being candidates in the future. Uh, we have, we feel like we're ready. We're, we're tired, we're tired of, of having other people speak on our behalf. We are tired of people uh, thinking that they represent, that they can um, identify with our issues. We feel like immigrant integration in Los Angeles should be carried by immigrants. We, we are here to provide those tools uh, and education so that we have our future candidates, like the ones uh, to my left, who can represent uh, our immigrant population. Pensamos, nosotros estamos aquí porque pensamos que estamos, estamos listos. Ya es tiempo para que tengamos candidatos que son pro-inmigrantes porque son inmigrantes. Pensamos de que a, ahora pues, podemos hacer, uh, agarrar candidatos y, y representantes de nuestra comunidad que vienen de la comunidad inmigrante porque son inmigrantes. Y vamos a presentarles a personas como la, aquí a mi izquierda, personas que que pueden uh, identificarse mejor con esos, los temas que afectan a nuestra comunidad. So, I'm going to pass it back to Dane, who's going to tell us a little bit more about uh, the, the training. Yeah, so I just want to talk about why KRC is partnering with Chirla and the New American Leaders Project, and why this kind of training is important, and just how the training is going to work and what it entails. And so, KRC, we believe it's important for you know, normal grassroots community members to represent our communities at all levels of politics. Um, from the local elections, such as school board and city council, to obviously the larger and the higher up governmental positions. So, KRC works to protect the most vulnerable members of the Korean American community, such as working and low income families, um, seniors, children, and undocumented immigrants. And we think it's important for Korean American and other immigrant, first and second generation immigrant candidates to represent us in government because they understand where our communities are coming from and they can advocate more effectively for um, policies that protect like I said, the most vulnerable members of our community. So um, the 2010 census showed that there's over a half a million Korean Americans in California now, but we're um, unrepresented in California State Assembly or our U.S. Congressional Delegation. And other immigrant communities of color are similar, similarly underrepresented. As um, Horacio said earlier, it's really important that you stop thinking that it's time, um, it's okay for other communities to take leadership and for us to just keep our heads down as immigrants and second generation Americans, but to um, you know, take leadership in our own communities. Um, just because someone's an immigrant doesn't mean that they necessarily understand um, what our community needs or what policies will protect us, but I think it gives um, our elected leaders a better understanding. For example, you know, many Korean American, Americans um, either go to church with or have a member of their friends or family was undocumented, and so they know that they're not here to um, steal jobs or something. They're here to pursue their American dream, and so they understand the importance of a policy like Dream Act or the immigration reform. So that's why the Korean Research Center is supporting this candidate trading. Um, um, people don't reach higher elected office um, just immediately. It takes years and years of work starting at the local level. Um, it takes years to learn about policy issues. It learns years to learn how to fundraise and how to network and how to build the political connections that you need to succeed in the political arena. And it takes years just to learn how to manage a campaign and how to communicate and how to speak in public. And so the public training is um, the New American Leaders Project training on April 28th to April 29th. It's going to focus on three things uh, for the two days. Um, communications, base building, and fundraising. 
And I think these are the sort of skills that are really important to start off at the local levels and then after years and years of um, gaining more Korean American and other immigrant leaders at these local levels, we can start building um, power and more representation at the higher levels of government. And so now, um, so uh, yeah, I want to introduce you guys to uh, Jonathan, who is one of our, our one of the most active student leaders at Chirla, who is applying for this this training because he feels he is ready. Let's get presented a uno de nuestros miembros de Chirla, uh, Jonathan, que ha aplicado para el desentrenamiento porque él quiere ser eh, un nuevo eh, un líder. Um, the reason I think this this is important to me and why I'm really applying for this is just because most of the U.S. like or California State uh, Congregation for uh, the Congressional Leaders don't really either they sympathize with us but they don't really fight on our behalf. They have no real drive to really help us in what we're facing, the challenges we're facing. Um, and I think me, like as a son of immigrants, I think I could represent my family and their values better than somebody who's never experienced that trouble before. Um, I'm, I would want to run for a U.S. House seat, probably work from where I live in Baldwin Park. Um, Um, la razón por la que estoy aplicando es uh, que yo creo que yo puedo representar los, uh, los valores de mis padres y de mi comunidad mejor que alguien que nunca ha vivido con uh, familias de bajos recursos y nada más son... Uh, can se identifican con nosotros. Uh, pienso que ellos no en verdad uh, pelean por lo que nosotros necesitamos. Nada más dicen que oh sí les vamos a ayudar y pero nunca hacen mucho por nosotros. Yo pienso que alguien que vive vive su vida um, sí va a querer pelear por eso. Por esos derechos humanos que nosotros soportamos. ¿Cuál es tu nombre? Ah, oh, Jonathan Carmón. to be leaders in our communities and um, if I'm going to apply for this because later in the future I would like to be maybe starting off as a city, uh, city council and then move my way up to like assembly person and uh, maybe a big step senator to make a change in my community because I personally come from an immigrant family and every time I look at the news I look at politicians and I, I see that they're not representing our opinions, they believe or they think they know what, we, what we're going through, but it's actually us, the people who are in the communities, who are going through all these uh, discrimination um, laws and are experiencing firsthand that we know what we need to make a change. So this is why I believe the Ready to Lead um, thing is very important and I'm very excited to apply. Um, so that's my opinion. En español, um, yo pienso que este, este, el Ready to Lead es también importante porque necesitamos personas uh, inmigrantes para representar nuestras comunidades y opinar nuestras opiniones. Y, um, como yo vengo en una familia de inmigrantes, 
yo pienso que yo uh, viviendo en, en mi comunidad uh, yo sé qué cosas tengo que cambiar para, para, para mejorar mi comunidad y yo pienso que este esta training me va a preparar para ser un, una senador una senadora en el futuro me vi cinco años um, y así puedo uh, ayudar a otras personas que son niños ahorita que al futuro pueden cambiar pueden cambiar sus comunidades en el futuro sí, yo pienso que este training está bien importante y estoy bien uh, contenta ¿Cómo? Ana Frasco um, Thank you, uh, Dane, Ogasian, Jonathan, and I look forward uh, to reading your applications. Um, hello, good morning. Uh, the New American Leaders Project is very pleased to be part of this Chirla and KRC partnership today, announcing our first Ready to Lead training in Los Angeles. Um, of the almost 37 million people in California, over one in four, or 10 million, are foreign born residents. 3.4 million hailed from Asia and 5.5 million from the Americas, making this a very exciting state for us to prepare first and second generation immigrants for civic leadership. Um, it's been a great year for the New American Leaders Project. We've delivered a ready to lead training in over six states um, to over 140 people, including Arizona, Illinois, Louisiana, Michigan, New York, Texas. Um, our alumni include Americans from all different ethnic backgrounds um, and with a track record of civic involvement and leadership. So to date, 43% of participants have been Latino and 34% Asian American. So we're looking forward to seeing what the demographic makeup of our training on April 28th and 29th is going to look like given the diversity of Los Angeles. Um, we believe that through this training and, and more to come, uh, we can start to increase the number of first and second generation immigrants in leadership positions, uh, increase civic engagement and voter participation in immigrant communities, and also allow um, voters more opportunities to not only engage, but be represented by uh, leaders who reflect their unique experience. Um, the ideal applicant for the Ready to Lead training is an immigrant leader who is looking for intensive self-assessment uh, skills and wants to uh, learn electoral skills such as communications, base building, and uh, fundraising. Um, folks like Jane Kim, who's school board supervisor in uh, uh, Northern California, uh, it represents uh, the ideal a uh, person that we're trying to cultivate. She's somebody who supported our work before in the past. Um, and uh, because she has been so deeply engaged in, in her community before she was elected to office and continues uh, to represent the needs of her community, um, she's precisely the kind of person uh, we would be looking for in our applicants. Um, so we encourage folks who are thinking about taking this next step in their leadership development to apply today. The applications are due this following Monday, April 9th. You can get the application at www.newamericanleaders.org. Um, and the application, just to be clear, is pretty straightforward. Um, it's a questionnaire, uh, two short form uh, essay questions, um, and a very good resume. Um, if you have any questions, uh, we encourage applicants to be in touch with us directly at info at newamericanleaders.org. And uh, we look forward to this uh, training April 28th and 29th in Los Angeles. Um, it's uh, located at the Liberty Hill Foundation uh, in Mid Wilshire, uh, opposite the Lockwood Museum. Um, the map is in the yeah. If you look in your press packets, you'll see the exact words.
So we have 34% Asian Americans um, who have participated so far. Um, of that group, five people have self-identified as Asian Americans. Um, so we're looking to up those numbers in Los Angeles. They're wondering if, you, if someone could repeat in Korean. Uh, I think we can do individual interviews later too. Thank you very much, everyone. Oh, I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. I don't uh, Mina, Mina. Uh, sorry, okay. there's some questions from the reporters. Sure. Something that they're asking a lot is if there are uh, qualifications such as like they need to be a citizen, they um, Generally, I think that the training is going to be most useful for somebody who is a college graduate or who is in. We had actually a couple of folks who are in college who are just looking to garner um, good leadership skills or figure out how, what it what the what what it looks like out there. Would, um, would but, first generation immigrants also interested in politics be able to participate too? I'm sorry? First generation immigrants. Absolutely. This yeah. is a the, the training is designed for first and second generation immigrants. Oh so it's it's really open to anyone. Yes. Basically. Yeah. So they need to be like a green card or citizenship? Well, yes. I mean, we recommend ideally, right? If you're looking to step into the next arena of leadership, you want to run for office, and in order to run for office, uh, you generally need to be a U.S. citizen. That being said, um, our trainings are also about um, getting folks more engaged in their community and taking leadership positions that may not necessarily um, involve quote running for office. Right. So, maybe to counsel. Um, yeah. Yeah. I do. Yeah. Yeah. Um, yeah. 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 Can you just briefly explain the program? <laughs> briefly explain the program? Yeah. Um, the New American 